this is example number 5.55 given on page number 683 from P.S. Bhimra book Electrical Machinery. So in this question, there is a star connected alternator having rating 30 MVA 11 kilo volt 50 hertz and it is a 6 pole alternator. The synchronous impedance it is given here synchronous impedance is 0 0.005 plus J 0 0.7 per unit. We have to calculate the load angle and the power factor in case the alternator is delivering rated current at rated voltage with excitation EMF 1.5 per unit. The excitation EMF is 1.5 per unit and it is written in the question that the alternator is delivering rated current. What is the meaning of rated current? The rated current means 1 per unit. The rated current in the per unit system is taken as 1 per unit. The rated current in the per unit system is taken as 1 per unit. It is delivering rated current at rated voltage. The rated voltage means 1 per unit voltage. 1 per unit voltage. This is a alternator. The other name of the alternator is synchronous generator. So this is the synchronous generator. The excitation EMF is EF. The terminal voltage is V. And the armature current is IA because this is a generator so it is delivering current it is supplying current the sync the synchronous impedance of the generator is zs so this is the diagram of the alternator if you see this diagram if you apply KVL, you can write the equation in this way. EF equals to V plus IA ZS, where all the quantities are phasor quantities. If you draw the phasor diagram corresponding to this equation and the diagram will be drawn in this way. This is the terminal voltage. Suppose I assume here I assume that the current delivered by the alternator is lagging with respect to the terminal voltage. This is the armature current and I assume that this armature current is lagging with respect to the terminal voltage because it is not given in the question whether this rated current the armature current is leading or lagging it is not uh, described it is not mentioned in the problem so you can assume anything you can also assume the armature current to be leading with respect to the terminal voltage. So here I have taken the armature current to be lagging with respect to the terminal voltage. And always remember in the case of the alternator the excitation EMF will always lead with respect to the terminal voltage. This is delta. Delta is known as the load angle. Always in the case of alternator, the EMF will lead with respect to the terminal voltage. And 
the armature current may lag or it may lead with respect to terminal voltage the armature current may lag or it may lead with respect to terminal voltage but the excitation emf will always lead with respect to the terminal voltage if you remember this thing so i have um, you can solve the problem very easily see here i have taken the terminal voltage as a reference always you have to take the terminal voltage as a reference so the uh, terminal voltage should be written in this way the magnitude of the terminal voltage is 1 per unit so write one angle zero because this terminal voltage is taken as reference the current the armature current is 1 per unit so in the terms of uh, phasor i should write one because this is lagging with respect to terminal voltage so i should write one angle minus five because it is lagging that's why i have written minus five here the emf emf is the excitation emf is 1.5 so in the phasor terms the excitation emf is 1.5 angle because it is leading with respect to terminal voltage so write plus delta so you can put all these values here so the emf is 1.5 angle delta equals to the terminal voltage is 1 angle 0 the value of ia that is armature current is 1 angle minus 5 and the value of zs synchronous impedance is 0 0.005 plus j 0.7 now the concept of the machine is over here our main aim is to solve this equation in this question we have to find out the load angle load angle means delta we have to find out the value of the delta delta is known as load angle and also he is saying to find out the power factor so we can find out the power factor by taking cosine of the angle phi so if you know the value of phi by doing by calculating cos phi you can calculate power factor our main aim is to solve this equation so if you are solving this question first time if you are solving this equation first time please uh, listen to me very carefully see how to solve this 1.5 angle delta 1 angle 0 means 1 1 plus 1 angle minus 5 you can convert this rectangular form into the polar form and in the polar form this will be 0 0.7 89.6 multiply these two terms it will be 1.5 delta equals to 1 plus 89.6 minus 5 you can write in this way 1.5 angle delta minus 1 equals to 0 0.7 89.6 minus 5 now you can expand this if you are doing expansion of this 1.5 angle delta it will become 1.5 cos delta plus j 1.5 sin delta minus 1 equals to 0 0.7 89.6 minus 5 
you can write this uh, in this way 1.5 cos delta minus 1 plus j 1.5 sin delta equals to 0 0.7 89.6 minus 5 you know that a plus j b can be written as under root a square plus b square so in the same way I am writing this or you can say 1 plus ok ok let me write it one point five cos delta minus one square plus one point five sine delta square equals to if you take the magnitude of this part it will become point seven so you can solve this one point five a square cos a square delta minus 3 cos delta plus 1 plus 1 1.5 square sine square delta equals to 0.7 square so if you consider these two terms it will be 1.5 square minus 3 cos delta plus 1 equals to 0.7 square so if you solve this you will get the value of delta as 23.074 so this is the load angle 23.074 so if you match with the printed answer it is 23.075 and I have got 23.074 now the second aim is to find out the power factor for the power factor I have to calculate the value of phi how to calculate the value of phi I have calculated the load angle as 23.074 23.074 so put this value of delta here 1.5 angle 23.074 minus 1 equals to 0 0.7 89.6 minus 5 so if you consider the left hand side by using this calculator Casio fx 991 es find out the the solution of 1.5 angle 23.074 minus 1 in the polar form just do the solution of this left part and calculate the answer in polar form you will get point six nine 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 angle fifty seven point one two equals to point seven eighty nine point six minus five so compare the left hand side and the right hand side compare the angles it is fifty seven point one two equals to eighty nine point six minus five calculate the value of phi it will be thirty two point four eight and the value of cos phi which is the power factor equals to cos 32.48 then you will get 0.8435 this is the power factor so if you match the answer the power factor is 0.8437 lagging 0.843 
I have got 0 0.8435 and the printed answer is 0 0.8437 so there is somewhat deviation so let it be there is no problem so this is the power factor see in the beginning of the question I have considered that the alternator is working at the lagging power factor I have assumed that the machine is operating at lagging power factor because it is lagging uh, operating at lagging power factor that's why I have considered minus phi but if you see the solution I have got phi equals to 32.48 if you write the equation of, uh, write the value of the current I have defined the current in this way the current is 1 angle minus phi put the value of phi which you have got here so it will be 1 angle minus 32.48 so this is IA and what is the value of terminal voltage the terminal voltage is 1 angle 0 so you can say if you draw, draw the phasor diagram this is the terminal voltage and actually the current is lagging by 32.48 you can see the equation the angle is negative so the current is lagging with respect to the terminal voltage because the current is lagging you can write the power factor as lagging so this is the complete solution of the example 5.55 given on page number 683 of the book Electrical Machinery written by Dr. P.S. Bhimra. Okay.